So uh, welcome guys. This is the Prof Creative. So the other time I experimented something on elbow deformation during rigging, and I found out that most of the problem we used to have for not having correcting uh, deformation is from topology flow of that particular uh, elbow or other joint area like the fingers and nails. So this method I'm about to show you is applicable to both fingers, elbow and nail. But I will just do a sample of it. So I will follow the start by bringing in a new cube. So go to my top view, top view and then I will bring in a cube. So I have a cube right here. So I will just do what I will scale this one on X and then I will press T to bring in uh, the uh, history, creation history, then division which I can increase it to something like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 and then maybe I will come to my side view or perspective I will add division height and then division depth both depth and height should carry the same value if it is 3 it should be 3 or, or true if it is going to be a 4 it should be 4 or true so now I want this shape to look spherical so uh, I need to come to my top view first I'll go to my face then deselect this part because I just want to select only that front and delete so I have I have this so what I'll do now is I'm going to delete all these very edges I'll delete all those four corner angles then press ctrl plus delete then we now have a spherical shape as in almost like cylinder so uh, here is the trick these two um, edge loop we have here is going to be tools that we'll be using to create uh, the basic uh, topology I have the reference projected to my other screen so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to use my multi core tools first I'll drag from outside click and drag from outside and drag to the midway like this so I have that one the next one is to click and drag or let me just click and drag or click this one to this hit enter and click this one to this hit another enter so we've created for the top part remain the bottom part of of the hand so I'll go to my bottom what I did from the top here that I connect this one to this I'm going to do the same thing here too so I'll come to my bottom then connect this one to this hit enter and also connect this one to this hit another enter so we now have this now depending on how much volume you want to have you can add additional edge loop right here additional one right here but for my case I think I'll prefer just adding from here just to here just to this side okay what's going on there okay it's too far if it's too far it may not connect so to this side and this side hit enter then do the same thing here to select here 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 and then click here hit enter so if I press 3 now we get this though uh, it's not it's not actually totally correct so I'm still going to match some things right there so but for now let's come to our top view and then I'll select the vertex like this then move the pivot position to the center of the elbow which is this side and then I'll try to rotate this so when I rotate I get something like this you'll see that the other side is not losing its volume let me undo all the steps 
to have the simplest one. So if I have the simplest one, this is it. Okay, remain one. I've cut one more. I think I need to disconnect this one back. Hit enter. So press three. Okay, that is exactly what I wanted to do. So we now have this. Those one I added is just to have a easy uh, has have some easy transition between the first one and this other one here. So if I go to my vertex and select this, then come to my top view. Okay, it's not that one. Then press D, then move the pivot position to somewhere here, and press another D. Then you try to rotate it and see. You see that that angle is not actually losing its volume. So now let's now try to see if we can now uh, to now add some joints to this. Has have some joints to see how it's going to deform in real life. So object mode. I can just try to add some details of how the hand will look like. I just want to scale this one slightly down to look as if it's a true arm. We just use this one to do some basic as assumption. It might not totally be right. We just use it to do some basic assumption of how the shoulder will look like. Okay, I think this one was supposed to be a uh, scale in this other direction. No, it's okay. Okay, let's add some. Uh, let's add uh, the joint now. Okay, I'm okay with this level. So we want to add the joints. We are just assuming these are the shape of the hand we look like. But in your own, you might you might have done a nice modeling. So when you are doing your modeling, you plan the way I plan this place to look like this. So object mode. Let's add some joints. So I think I'll pause this one right here. Then in the next uh, class, I will show you how you can just add the joint then do your weight painting to deform correctly thank you for watching